for today's stripped video. I'm probably going to go back and forth between my phone and my camera because I have a funeral to go to this morning and I didn't feel like pulling out my camera. So I figured I would talk to you guys through my phone. Plus I just have a lot to say today. So it's going to be kind of scattered. It's going to be kind of all over the place, different topics. First topic will have to be the fact that I'm going to a funeral this morning. I don't know what it is, but by the way, this is going to be like a throwback to Vlogmas when I would just talk to you about everything. Um, and I don't have my ring on because I'm getting ready. I know it's on glass, but anyway, can you tell I'm scatterbrained? Um, a lot of people I find after they lose someone, and before I say this, I'm not, no one is wrong with how they grieve. I just grieve differently, I guess. I don't know. But, um... A lot of people when they lose someone, they can't go to a funeral, they can't be around anyone that loses anyone, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not like that. I find that if I did that, I have so many friends and family and everyone that lose people, I would never be there for any of the people in my life, ever. Like, and I've, you know, I had someone who I haven't talked to in months, but I have someone in my life who lost someone. And they haven't talked to me in months and they were pissed that I wasn't involving them in my wedding like they wanted to because they thought that I was supposed to involve them because I didn't have my mom. And I find that selfish and I haven't talked to the person since just because I don't want that negativity in my life. But I find that I guess what I'm trying to say is like people have asked how I've dealt with death and how I've dealt with losing my mom. I've dealt with it personally. I have not let my personal, like, it's it's affected my relationships with some people just because I handle things differently, but it hasn't affected it in a way where I tell myself I'm not going to be there for that person because I'm going through this, if that makes sense. So, but yeah, today is going to be kind of a stripped, come with me different places kind of thing because... I've done everything kind of sitting on my bed or you'll see me in the mirror or whatnot and today's gonna be a little bit different but anyway um but yeah as we're as we're approaching the one year of my mom dying I don't really know how it's gonna be I thought it was gonna be a lot different I thought it was gonna be very somber and everything but she's been here like crazy like yeah like and I can't I can't ever relay how she's been here because it's going to sound crazy and it's not going to make sense to anyone, but if you've ever lost someone, you know that it's just those feelings that you just get and you're like, okay, that was, that was her, that was him or any of that kind of stuff. So I've had those a lot lately, like overly, like, like almost as much as whenever she just recently died and that's how it was. It's kind of odd. Like yesterday one happened and I just started crying because it was so like intent, intent, intense. So, um, one of the biggest things I find with losing someone is that people don't understand why you do things the way you do. Um, like I've had an issue with a friend all day today about some certain stuff and I had to tell her like, hey, we've had issues ever since my mom died and I'm like, hey, things just changed. Like things that I changed. I know you don't get it, but I changed. That's what happened. This is how I am now. I'm sorry. But. I'm just a lot more cut and dry, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to catch up with y'all in a little bit. So, I know this is kind of a different setup, but I was in here working on invitations, and I was kind of, like, trying to figure out what I was going to do today's strip video on, because I talked earlier, and then I realized that sometimes, or, like, the last video and everything, I started this for it to be very candid, not thought out at all, just kind of me talking to y'all, so... That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, today I went to that funeral and it was a lot, it was a, a long day kind of thing. Like I thought it, the funeral was at one, it was at site, so it wasn't in the church, it was like at site kind of thing. And I thought it was gonna be that and then go back and then kind of have the afternoon and we just got caught up at the family's house and we were there all day. So. I'm just now getting home and it rained and my dad and I got caught in the rain leaving Kroger but I was trying to figure out what to talk about and I realized that just going off of you know y'all's tweets and the way y'all leave comments on stuff and everything y'all like when I just talk to you 
and I think if I kind of talk about what I'm going through right now what I'm dealing with and what's going on right now as opposed to in the past which I think I'm gonna talk about that stuff too like next week but today we're just gonna talk about right now so I went to that funeral today and I don't know if it's because it's been hotter this October than it was last October but it really hasn't hit me yet that it's about to be one year without my mom and I kind of think I'm okay with that I like I mean like I was thinking about the other day it's like I have all those feelings and I could get really sad and I could get really upset and I could be very I could honestly go in my room cry myself to sleep and stay there for days on end and that's all all those emotions are still there but I don't and I could open that door, but I don't want to. And I know that sounds like I'm bottling up emotions, but I don't think it's that because I've had my fair share of letting out emotions and getting, you know, getting through stuff. I think it's just that when you lose someone, and correct me if I'm wrong, from anyone who's, you know, been more than a year of losing, losing someone, I feel like those emotions are just always going to be there. There's always going to be that little girl in me that wants to cry for her mom. I mean, I laid on their couch in Greg's lap, literally like a three-year-old that Monday night after the Sunday my mom died and I was like I just want her back and I was bawling and I was like I just want her back make her come back and then you know that I've been there and I've done that but I think I just that's not me to continue to do that so I don't know I just I'm kind of okay with being a little bit numb to it if that makes sense because I feel like if I get out of that then it's gonna be 10 times worse than what it should be I got in the rain and my makeup's like all under my eye. But anyway, um, but I've had an issue with a friend today and I'm sure some people are going to be able to understand, figure out who it is just from if you've watched my videos and y'all are like such little spies, y'all are so good at figuring out. But I have a really close friend that I'm having an issue with today over my wedding. Um, she's not in my wedding and I wasn't sure if I was going to invite her boyfriend to the wedding because I just, I don't agree with some of his choices. And so she and I got this long argument and she's not in my wedding because at the time when I had to choose, any bride knows there's like a timeline when you have to choose your bridesmaids because you have to get their dresses in and everything. When I chose, when I was choosing all that, she, um, she and I weren't talking. It was around the time I graduated. We weren't talking. I don't know what happened. We just weren't talking. And and it was a really hard decision for me to make, but at the same time, you know, I'm just trying to get through this wedding in one piece. I really am, you know. I'm trying to get through it and have it be a memorable experience and a good experience. And so I'm very, I'm very careful on what stresses I bring on myself because I feel like if I get too stressed, then I'm going to be like, go back to, well, my mom's not here and she'd be helping me with this and then break down. I don't want that to happen. So I've tried my hardest to keep this whole situation as stress-free as possible. So all that happened and I just I was lost and I was like well you know I would love it if she was in my bridal party which to me a bridal and nothing against my bridal party if any of y'all are watching this but I've just never been that person that's had a best friend from age two until now you know and that's what I think of when you think of like maid of honor and you know really good I mean I have so many good friends and it's so many different girls at so many different points in my life that were so they added so many different things to become one big best friend, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I was best friends with Lauren XOXLLC at one point, and she brought interesting stuff to my life. I was friends with my friend, and I'm still friends with these people, but best friends is what I'm talking about. I was really close friends with my friend Caitlin at one point, and then my other friend Caitlin, and then, you know, all these different people, and they've all contributed so many different things to my life that when it came time to pick my bridesmaids, and this best friend of mine wasn't there, I picked those girls you know what I'm saying and and so it's just been a very hard situation for me and she and I have she kind of got really angry with me last night about all of it and I sent her this long text today and I'm one of those people that if I'm in the wrong I'm gonna tell you I'm in the wrong and I but I also have a bad habit of just not wanting the conversation to continue so I just say I'm in the wrong so that it's over if that makes sense so I kind of cop out with that and I need to work on that but I sent her a long text today and literally it was like the novel of all novel texts just trying to tell her hey I've messed up I know I've messed up because you know she and she and Greg didn't get along for a while and you know he's gonna be my husband and I want to respect him on that and he had good grounds and he was just trying to be protective of me and so you know it is our wedding day and I want to respect him and stuff like that and I 
you know, I sent her a long text and I was like, hey, I know I've messed up. I know I've not been the best friend. I know that a lot of things changed when my mom died because, yeah, as much as I didn't want to say that it would change me, it did. It changed how I deal with things. It changed how I see things. It changed my relationships. I don't find myself getting as close to people as I used to because I find that part of me is still kind of scared that I'm going to lose everyone that I get close to. That's just me being honest. And I said, hey, you know, I understand. I, I'm sorry. I understand that I hurt your feelings. I apologize. I explained how I was in a between a rock and a hard place picking bridesmaids. They're really not a big deal in my wedding. It's just kind of, you know, what I felt like I needed to do because I was trying to fit this mold of like a traditional wedding when I'm finding out that my life is far from traditional. But, you know, I said all this stuff and I really got vulnerable and I sent the text this morning and just didn't receive anything back. And I, I get to this point where I'm like, okay, you can only try so many times with people before you have to be like, okay, I tried. I can't make this. I have to. At the end of the day, I have to make sure I'm okay and I have to make sure I'm okay with my choices and I stand by my choices and I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing. And I feel like I can't sit there and beg someone to forgive me for a crappy year, you know? And all I can sit here and do is say, hey, I know I messed up. I can't go back and change that. I wish we could be friends. I'd love to be friends. What do you say? And if she doesn't say anything back, then I really can't do anything about it. And I know this sounds weird that I'm like talking to you guys about it, but literally Greg's at a game and I have no one to talk to about it. So I figured I would talk to you guys because y'all may be going through something like this. And I know growing up, you lose friendships. And even when you lose a parent or at least someone close to you, that rattles your relationships with people crazier, like more than anything. So maybe me sharing my situation will help you guys. And and you know nothing against that girl I'm not trying to say anything bad about her I just wish things would turn out differently you know I wish that we could just you know fix the situation and just kind of even ever be square with everything and then start with a fresh start but I, I know that probably can't happen so I've just been dealing with that and that's hard that's heavy on my heart today because I just don't like confrontation I don't like it with anyone whether it be a family member, a friend, a subscriber, a Twitter follower, any of that. I just don't like confrontation. I don't like it. And it's just, it, it just really hurts today. So um, that's kind of what I'm going through. Um, we're getting close to the end of the wet, or to, we're getting closer to the wedding, which I'm really excited about. I'm starting to get excited. You guys, like, there was a little time there where I got really upset about it because I was like, you know, my fiance's not here. I'm not getting to do all the stuff that people do with their fiancés or with, the, you know, their loved ones. My mom's not here. I don't have a grandma. I don't have anyone here that's doing this because then it's a fine line. You don't want to go to someone else and ask someone else for help because you don't want to take that away from their daughter or their granddaughter. And it's just confusing. But I'm getting really excited. I'm starting to realize that it's going to be a day filled with love and with people I love. And I'm trying to figure out a way to... Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to vlog it, get someone to vlog it for me that day so you guys can see. I would really like that. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, if y'all, I hope y'all aren't too disappointed with this episode, but it's just me talking to you. You know, I like talking to y'all. And I found it hard to vlog or anything lately because I'm really trying hard not to be on my phone or not record anything while I'm in the car and it's just... You know, it's hard because the majority of my day I'm in the car. So, anyway, but, um, yeah. So, I know I've been slacking on videos this week, but I really wanted to get this video up because I know it was really important. But, you guys, I've got a whole video list over here. So, this will be filmed this weekend and hopefully next week I'll evolve it up. Um, I'm going to try to get crank these videos out so I may have a few more videos than three next week. But, anyway. I love y'all so much. If you've got family members, anyone that you love, just tell them you love them. You don't know if they're going to be here tomorrow. And, you know, if you're in an argument with someone, just try to fix it. You know, don't, don't like go of your self-respect in it, but try to fix it. Try, you know, if you're fighting over something stupid, just try to fix it. It's really, I promise you, like Miller and I got in an argument last night about something and I tried to fix it, you know, just because I was like, this is stupid. If something happened to him while he was traveling, I would feel so awful. So, I love y'all so much, and I will see you again in a video probably Monday. But I love y'all. Bye.